Hello, hello, and welcome to the Borealis Experience. I'm your host, Aurora, life coach and companion on this beautiful journey called life. I hope you're doing well. I hope you feel safe. I hope you feel good in your skin. And if you don't, I wish to bring you peace and love and light without sounding too spiritual. I want to bring you value. I want to make you feel important and valued and good about yourself. Today I want to talk about your desires, your dreams. I was reminded today that all too often my mind gets caught up in what I do not want in my life, what I regret, what is not going the way I want things to go. And then I wondered, why is my brain doing this? Why do I keep falling back into having these thoughts of scarcity and lack and not enoughness? And I think it is a poor attempt of our mind to protect us from future pain. You know, if we went through painful situations in the past, it wants to protect us like a, an overly motherly or, yeah, motherly mother or fatherly father um, to have new experiences where we might get hurt. And sometimes we just got to put that overly protective mind of ours into a corner and turn the volume down and tune back into what we truly want to see unfold in our lives. And when we tune into our desires, our dreams, our wishes, then our mind has no place for regrets and being overly protective. Your heart opens up and wants to achieve these goals, so to say, that you set to yourself. So I want to invite you today to explore once again, what is it that you want to see happening in your life? What are the things that you would like to manifest? What is the experience you want to have? What is the feelings you want to feel? Do you feel light? Do you feel good and confident? Do you feel empowered? Do you feel inspired? Do you feel creative? Do you feel loved? Being your best self showing up as the best version of yourself. And to imagine how that would look like is so incredibly powerful. I was in a very weird situation today where <laughs> me and my partner, we went skiing, cross-country skiing, and all of a sudden our neighbor's dogs were following us. And it was a tricky situation because we love these dogs, but at the same time we knew we couldn't bring those dogs home because my one dog here is really not good with other dogs. And we tried to find a solution and it was just very nerve-wracking and exhausting because we had to ski and worry about these dogs at the same time. And I got just all caught up in the negatives and what could happen if the dogs were to meet and just a whole, you know, mess in my head. And long story short, we found a solution. Everything went well, but I had like the headache 3000 afterwards. And I knew it was totally self-induced. It was me getting caught up in the thoughts of this is not what I want, this is useless, this is eating up precious time, this is nerve-wracking, and this is how I started tensing up and building up so much anger inside of myself that it ended up in a massive headache. 
And it is only with a Tylenol that I was able to get rid of that headache afterwards, which is nothing I'm proud of. I love to take care of my headaches in a different way usually, but it just got too intense. But the reason I'm sharing this with you is that I want you to be aware of how strong your mind is and how powerful and extreme um, your mind can influence your physical health, your mental health, your emotional health. So if you feel yourself out today and if, if you feel like a little bit tensed, upset, if you're listening to this episode because you're hoping to learn something about reaching your dreams and tapping into your desire mode, then I invite you to explore what your thought patterns are. Are you caught up in regrets and complaints and the negatives? And trust me, it is all too easy nowadays to be caught up in the negatives but then I invite you to focus in, to tune in, you know, like a little radio station, to tune into your desires again. What is it you want to see? What is it you want to unfold in your life? And, of course, if you're driving right now or operating machinery or you're at work, don't close your eyes. But if you find yourself in a comfortable space where you can just lean back and close your eyes, I want you to picture yourself being your best version. Because this is what I should have done today when I got so upset with the dogs. I should have tuned into myself and asked myself, what would the best version of Aurora do right now? How would she speak? How would she move? How would she react how would she go about this situation? And the outcome would have been very, very different. Even though it turned out well, I know that if I had done this exercise earlier, I wouldn't have ended up with a massive headache. So what is it you want to manifest in your life? Is it a partner? Is it adventures? Is it freedom? Is it a light and fun, adventurous life? Is it money? What would you do with the money if it was set in front of your door tonight? How would you react if your dream partner was to stand in front of you? Would you be able to recognize them? Would you be able to embrace them? Or would you reject them subconsciously because you're not quite ready yet? So what I'm hoping to do with today's episode is to remind you that it is way more important to work on your readiness for your dreams to unfold instead of thinking and feeling out all the situations that you do not want in your life. How do you want to feel with your partner? How do you want to feel with your children? What is it that you want to explore in the future? And if you engage in it, how would you feel? How would it affect the relationships around you? How would it affect your productivity? Thank you so much for listening. And if you feel the need to reach out, if you feel ready to engage on a journey with me and to explore further, don't hold back. Message me at Aurora Eggert Coaching or simply Aurora Eggert on Facebook. And I will gladly listen to you and hear you out and find out what would be the tools that you need in order to be the best version of yourself. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for listening to my podcast. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to it so that you don't miss out on any episodes in the future. And if I was able to bring you value and soothing and goodness, then please share with friends and family 
with people you care. The more people we can reach with these messages, the better. And the more authentic people can show up, the stronger and more resilient our society will be. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.